Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Shadow Panther from Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. And as you probably already guessed, it's just a repaint of Cheetor from Wave 1 with a slight bit of remolding. We have some really nice artwork here on the front of the box though, carrying over here to the side with the Beast Mode and the Robot Mode. Over here on this side we just kind of have that standard Kingdom picture that we have on the side of all the Kingdom packaging. Not really too much going on on the bottom the top just has the Predacon symbol. And then over here on the back, we have that kind of cave painting motif that they have going on for this line. Again, with the beast mode and the robot mode. So, pretty fun packaging. Going to go ahead and get him out of there, and we'll take a closer look. So here is Shadow Panther out of the packaging, and it really is just Cheetor. It's pretty much the exact same figure, just with a new paint scheme. And I would say the one notable difference is the head sculpt. Just to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here is Cheetor. So you really can see that it's pretty much exactly the same figure. But if you remember the original toy line, uh, the first wave of figures had kind of like a beast face and a regular robot face. And I feel like this was a gimmick that they built into the toy line and then they just kind of never really used it for anything. When they were doing character designs for the cartoon, they kind of just picked whichever face they liked better out of the two. But if you remember the original toy, you had Cheetor's head, which looked kind of like this, and then it was on a little bit of a hinge, and you could actually rotate the entire head forward 90 degrees, and then the top, like the back of the head, would now be the top of the head, and had a face very similar to this. So I feel like that's what they're referencing with this kind of, like, evil monster face. They're kind of referencing his original's, like, secondary beast face from the original toy line. Um, I believe the the original Shadow Panther that this is referencing was a Japanese-only exclusive repaint of Cheetor, and that had the normal head. I think even when they did it again in the Masterpiece line, because again, it's an easy repaint of Cheetor, they used the regular face as well. So I think this is the first time we're getting this character with this kind of evil monster face uh, as his kind of soul face uh, option. So I, the original toy obviously would have had both just because it was a repaint of Cheetor, but I think this is the first time we're getting it with just this face as his actual face. So I'm going to go ahead and pull Cheetor out of here. And it's a nice looking figure. I think the head sculpt works. Now the original one was obviously a little bit longer. This has been kind of, you know, truncated to fit in the space it needs to fit into for the transformation. But I still think it's a pretty cool design. I like the, the giant black vacant eyes. I think they're very creepy. I think that kind of works. Uh, you have this on a ball joint, so you can kind of tilt it back, tilt it a little forward. Can't really rock much side to side, but you can certainly look side to side, no problems there. Uh, you have the hinge in the shoulder, which is kind of impeded by these shoulder pads here, which have the beast legs on the back here. I wish these pegged together. I wish there was just a little something to kind of peg them together there like that, but what are you going to do? Uh, so you have forward movement. You have the hinge, but again, it's a little bit restricted. You have the bicep swivel. You do have an elbow joint there. You have a wrist swivel, like so. You have a waist swivel, like so. You can kind of kick pretty decently out to the side, kick very much forward. I uh, can't really kick all that back because he does have kind of a butt flap there. But you do have a thigh swivel. You have a knee joint. You have an ankle tilt, as well as some movement front to back in the ankle. It's really the exact same articulation as Cheetor, so if you have Cheetor, it's the exact same articulation because it's pretty much the entire same figure. Uh, it comes with the same accessory as well. I really wish they came with their guns instead of this this weapon because I feel like this, this weapon is definitely a reference more to his transmetal form as opposed to his original form. Um, his Season 1 uh, form really had the guns, and I wish that those were present. It does look like Tigatron is getting them, which is nice. Uh, because that's kind of like an upscale, slight remold. Like, it's, it uses this as the base, but then they kind of upscale it and tweak it a little bit. And he is getting the gun, so that's kind of nice. But I wish this guy had the guns as well. As well as original Cheetor, obviously. But, yeah, overall I think it's a pretty good looking figure. It's a fun little repaint. Let's go ahead and get into the transformation. Alright, so I'm going to run through the transformation pretty quickly. Because if you've seen Cheetor's transformation, it's really no different. We're going to start by rotating the wrists 180 degrees. So we will spin that around, and then you can see that that's all going to kind of line up there. So we will once again spin this around right about there. Then we're going to take the arms and swivel them around until they clip into the kind of shoulder area. So that that way this is all one flush piece. You're going to take the head, 
kind of tilt it back so you can spin it 180 degrees and then push that in like so. You're going to open up these panels on the abdomen. You're going to pull the panther head out. This will go up and then fit over top of the robot head. You can close up the mouth and then you're going to I guess well, we want to kind of make sure that we can get these little panels passed so that we can close this up, get the panther legs out of the way. This will all snap in together and form the underbelly of the panther. And then you can go ahead and close up these panels and bring the feet down. And you pretty much have the entire front section of the panther. The uh, back part is very simple. You just flip the feet into the back there, which will pop out the back panther legs. So you do that, and then you just bend this here, straighten this out, bend this, straighten this, and then bring in the tail accessory, and that just pops in to the back here. Bit of a snug fit, but that goes in there. And there you go. You have your panther like I said, it's exactly the same as Cheetor. I believe it's the exact same head sculpt, just painted differently. You can open and close the mouth, which is nice. I do really like the red eyes. I think that really pops. You have some movement here, rotation, as well as a hinge out to the side. You have a little bit of movement here, and I guess what would be the knees. You have a ball joint here at the paw, and then you kind of have the same leg movement. So there's the thigh swivel from the robot mode. There's the I guess backwards knees. Then you have a little bit of a hinge here, and then you have the ball joint in the paw. And that tail really does not want to peg all the way in. But overall, I think he looks pretty good. It's a pretty good repaint of Cheetor. So I think Shadow Panther is a fun figure, but it's definitely just a repaint of Cheetor. The only notable difference really is the head sculpt, but I do like the new head sculpt. It would have been easy for them to just give us a new paint scheme for Cheetor's head, but instead they wanted to mold a new head, which is kind of a reference to the original toy, which is kind of fun. Um, is this guy a must-have? It's going to be up to you. I mean, he's a reference to a Japanese-only toy, so yes, he's kind of popped over here a few times in the past, but he wasn't a character on the show or anything like that, not even really part of our original toy line, so it's going to be up to you how much you need the guy. But, you know, he's a normal retail release, so he shouldn't be too difficult to get a hold of, and I think he's a nice repaint, and I probably a lot of people are comparing him to Ravage, so I kind of wanted to bring Ravage in as well, because Ravage is also kind of built from the same base mold but he's very very different and you can see how different the torso is and the whole crotch area pretty much the whole top of the figure really only like from the knees down are the same but i know you know they're both kind of like black cats so it makes sense you know one's a panther one's a jaguar that a lot of people would probably compare the two so i just wanted to show how really different they are now you know if you want to get this one and pretend it's a stand-in for this one because this one's a little bit pricier i understand that but they are really two completely different toys, just to do a quick comparison there. But yeah, like I said, Shadow Panther's kind of fun, but I think your mileage will vary. I can understand if the character is not very important to a lot of people, being a Japanese-only repaint from back in the day. So I think he's a fun figure, but I can understand if you want to pass on this one. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.